Hello students, this is just a short video guide on how you can submit your assignments via Turnitin links on the Moodle online learning platform. So the first thing to note is that you will find your Turnitin links on each specific module page rather than on the program block. So for example, if you have an assignment due for abnormal psychology, you will find the Turnitin link on the abnormal psychology page rather than in the program block. The course I'll be using is just a demo course, but the same principles will apply for all submissions across all modules. So you can find your Turnitin submission links via this icon, the white page with the red arrow. This will allow you to easily and quickly identify which links are Turnitin links. And you just click into them then to open up the Turnitin dialog window. So the first thing to note is the three dates across the top here. The start date is the beginning of the submission window. You cannot submit before this date and time. The submit paper link will simply not be there. The due date is the end of the submission window. Your lecture may allow for late submissions, in which case you will still have the submit paper link after the due date, but you will then be penalized automatically based on how long after the due date you submit your assignment. The post date is when the grade will be made available on Moodle, although your lecturer may choose to instead distribute the grades by another way. So once you're ready to submit your assignment, you click the submit paper link down here and it will open up this dialog. So the first thing to note here is that you have to give a formal submission title. This is a required field, as you can see there. The best practice here is if you simply give it the title of the assignment, um, or even a shortened version if the assignment has a very long title, and add either your full name or your student number so you can be easily identifiable. Once you are ready to upload your essay file, there are two ways to do it. The first is you click on the Add button here. Make sure you're in the Upload a File section and click Choose File. And this will just open up the standard Windows dialog for uploading a file. So just highlight your essay, hit open, and your essay will appear there beside the choose file option. If you chose the wrong file, you simply hit choose file again, and you select the correct file. You can rename your file here as well. And the author and choose license sections can simply be left as the defaults. Hit upload this file once you're happy, and your file has now appeared there and is ready to submit. The second way to submit your essay, um, again, you still need to give it a full title as of the first method, but you can simply drag and drop a file into this window to upload your essay. So you can see these gray lines forming the square indicates where you need to place your essay. So I have the essay open here. And I simply drag and drop it and you can see the gray lines have turned red to indicate that it will not copy the file at the moment. They will turn blue when you have them in the correct area to upload your essay. So from red to blue. You release and your the file has now uploaded. You can then hit add submission. This will usually just take a few seconds. It may take a little longer depending on the length of your essay, but you will then get your Turnitin digital receipt with your Turnitin submission ID, which is your unique identifier for your submission. It will also show you a small extract from your essay. So this is your last chance to confirm that you have uploaded the correct file and it doesn't need any correction. Once you're ready, you just close that dialog. 
and it will update here. So you can get another copy of your digital receipt here. Your paper ID is the same as you would have received there. You will see the date and time that you submitted and your similarity report will then be indicated here. So the 77% here means that 77% of that submitted essay appears to have been copied from somebody else's work. The way you can review that is simply by clicking here under submission title. The name of your essay will take you into the feedback studio where you can review your essay or your submission. So you can see here the sentence at the top is my original work. It does not appear in any published works, so that has not been flagged. It is recognized as my own work. On the other hand, this copy pasted lorem ipsum text filler has been correctly identified as copy pasted from somewhere else. The one thing to note is the second section, even though I have attributed to somebody, therefore technically making it a correct quote, has still been flagged by Turnitin. So both you and your lecturer will see this and you will both be aware of the difference between I am presenting this as my own work versus this is somebody else's quote that I am presenting. That is how you submit to Turnitin and how you can review the feedback from the Turnitin Feedback Studio.